Hi guys, welcome to Oakley's Group. This is our vlog, our very first time. Yes. <laughs> you know, and we thought we might actually do this to sort of um, tell you all what we are about, but more importantly, discuss the challenges we're faced with in the, should I say, consultancy world across multiple sectors we have um, worked in. So, I am Shay List Kiru, I'm one of the consultants in Oakley's Group, and this is my colleague. Hi, I'm Shimi Nosu, another one of the consultants in Oakley's. Uh, so as Shay said, we want to start doing some vlogs, discuss the challenges that are in, present in the consultancy world, but also get insight or discuss some solutions and ideas for companies that need consultancy services. Um, if there are topics you'd like us to cover or maybe you'd like to come and join us on one of our conversations, yeah. mm -hmm. do reach out to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're a friendly pair. Um, it'd be great to just chat to some people and get insight and get your feedback as well. So do let us know what you think of the blog and the topics that we'll be covering. Good, sounds good actually. So so I think on that note, you know, everyone probably will be wondering what's Oakless, what's Oakless Group and all that. So in a nutshell, we are a strategy and a transformation and consultancy company. So what we typically do is we go into businesses, we understand what their pain points are, and ultimately try to improve profit and mass, more or less, you know, increasing their revenue and whatnot. So um, we look at it in different ways from um, obviously the typical project management to process optimization techniques or change management methodologies and deployment systems. You know, of course, you know, business analysis and so on. You know, some of the services we do offer. Now, I wouldn't bore you with all the terms, but typically, you know, like we rightly touched on, it's uh, simply a case of helping our clients achieve what they're trying to do. But we, as consultants, ensure we're actually working with working with them in that journey and ensuring they're, they're sort of in line with the maybe procedures or the policies or the regulations and so on that might be out there. So a quick example is like GDPR, which was the trend a couple of months ago. You know, so some of our clients, how do we ensure they're actually GDPR proof? You know, they're having certain strategies already implemented or they could even be startups. How do we ensure they're actually sort of taking that into account? So that's typically what we do in a nutshell. Again, there's a lot more detail we can go into because each of these sorts of services have got verticals and horizontals, you know, that we can tap into. But from an industry perspective, you know, we have um, four to five major sort of sectors we cover. Um, energy, so which includes oil and gas, power, utilities. So utilities, we're talking about water and gas in the UK. So that's all locked into the utility side of the business. We also have wealth management, which I'm sure you looks at. Um, and some other sectors, we have um, retail, um, which is all around, you know, luxury goods and services. We also deal with some property, but from a project management side of things. Um, so, I mean, am I missing anything so far, Shakina? Yeah, I think we also, there's another area, which is technology. Correct. So we yeah. can help with the implementation and delivery of technology. Um, and I think another point really just to cover is we're quite passionate and feel quite strongly about making consultancy services accessible to whichever size company you are. True. Um, I think typically and traditionally it's always been known, um, sort of, it's they're bigger companies, they're expensive, we don't want consultancy until we need it or mm. actually not even <coughs> recognising you need it. Uh, I think also, you know, a lot of people are aware of the big four um, and we're not here to bad mouth them, uh, but I know that the big one of the big four is not always accessible. You have to be a significant size company Correct. to have them accessible. And I think one of the things in OCAS that we are really keen on doing is helping the smaller and the medium sized companies um, and bringing the services they need at a reasonable cost, but also we're, we're passionate about business. Correct. So actually yeah. we come with a vested interest as well. Um, mm -hmm. So there's, and I think also just it's kind of important for people to understand um, um, the smaller and medium-sized companies, they, it's very very much focused on revenue, mm. um, but the processes, the people, this the technology true. behind that is not always thought of and it, the, the direct link is not understood. Um, however, actually, the more efficiencies you have in those areas, the greater your revenue. Would be, this is true, and that's very important actually. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, I think what we're going to talk about in this first video. Yeah. Um, just a little intro. Um, now you know who we are. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. Please drop us comments, share this video, 
Um, share your thoughts and like we said, expect lots more of this because now we're going to be discussing several things. We're going to go into a lot more detail. We're going to talk about projects we've been on, you know, across the world. You know, we're going to talk about learnings and experiences. For those of you who might be project managers or business analysts and so on, we're going to talk about that. How does it differ within industry? You know, if you're working in oil and gas industry versus the finance sector, you know, what sort of the consistent sort of methodology perhaps that can be used and all that type of stuff will be looked at in the course of the months to come actually. So that's about it. Thank you all so uh, much. Not, not to forget, yeah. uh, we are actually offering um, a non, an obligation free oh, two true. hour chat. Um, so if you feel like you want to discuss something in particular or maybe you just want to have a general chat about where we could potentially help you with your growing business, uh, please do reach out to us and we're happy to sit down with you and have um, a thorough conversation in two hours yeah. um, and give you an indication of where we, we could potentially help you. This is true. So I'd say take good advantage of that, guys. I mean, we would we could actually come to your office or you can come to our offices and we would have a great time just understanding where your, your pain points are and hopefully resolve them for you. Thank you, guys, and have a good day. Bye. Bye.